Hey guys, this is my first video with voice. Um, so I'll be doing a review on the survival shovel and the UST paracord hatchet. Okay, let's get started. First up on the shovel, I think this is a great tool. It was when I went camping last week, it was the most used. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty basic. It has a shovel, obviously. Um, I don't know if you can read this. But, uh, so that right there says hatchet edge. This end, it does include a hatchet made for cutting small pieces of wood. This side is a little saw. And then, obviously, the shovel. Uh, right there's a nail puller. Should be able to read that. Um, and then down here, it's a few tools: a square bolt, um, hexagon bolt, and that bolt, and a bottle opener, a uh, hammer. For, again, bang stuff in. On the bottom, you have a compass, and uh, in this compass, there is a survival kit, which I will be showing you right now. Okay, so that little bag is the survival kit. Um, can't see it. I'm not going to take it out too much time. But there's just a fishing kit and a few matches in there and the striker. Okay, let's get over to the hatchet review. This is the UST Paracord hatchet. Um, really nice. Uh, if you had to, you could take the paracord off and use that for something and that fishing kit in the other one you would use the strands within the paracord to use for fishing string so uh let's open this up so this is the hatchet without the sheath um so i'm just gonna go over what is on this hatchet obviously you have the blade three bolts or whatever you call those um a seat belt cutter it's pretty nice and on the bottom uh, this entire thing is one piece, so it's completely solid from tip to butt. And on the butt, you have this little metal, which can be used as an acting pummel to break stuff. And then right here, you have a little finger grip, so you can slice like that, instead of having to chop. Um, okay, and let's get to some other features. This sheath houses two items, the hatchet and a fire steel. Okay, so that's the sheath. The uh, fire steel, this is it, just has a little ferrule rod. It tucks in this little piece right here. If I can get that to go in with one hand. Okay, yeah. And then this little strap, that hooks over to the fire steel. This one comes over. Folds over that. So, it won't move too much. Uh, has a little belt clip right there. That's another thing about the shovel. That shovel doesn't have a belt clip, so you can't really put it on your belt. You would have to just put it in your pack. But, uh, yeah, so that's the UST paracord hatchet. So, if I had... Okay, so those are those two tools. Um... I'm going to rate these, just tell you which one I would bring on a real trip. So, this one, if I didn't have firewood, I would definitely bring that. Um, I'd give the shovel um, probably four stars out of five, just because every tool is pretty useful, but I thought it would be pretty cool if this company, I don't know the name, but if they made it able to fit on your belt. You could do it. You could, like, just slide it in there, but it would come loose a lot. So, four stars. And the hatchet, I would give it four and a half out of five. I know what you're thinking. Of course, he's going to choose that to hatch it. But actually, I was planning on choosing the shovel, but I just thought, you know, this has a fire steel, paracord. That is, the shovel is a multi tool, but I would definitely bring this on camping. So, I'm going to try and launch new videos every. Tuesday, um, sorry, every Wednesdays and Fridays, so, until next Friday, see you later.